Hi guys, this is another uh, video about uh, online means uh, cloud backups. Uh, last week I've made uh, the comparison between Carbonite and Backblaze because I thought these were the best cloud uh, backup uh, options. But now I have found the crash plan which I think is even much much better it's price wise it's a little bit higher than the um, the, the uh, back place but it's cheaper than the carbonite and it has much much more options it is much more reliable it's stable it um, yeah I like it really much so I show you the main screen this is the main screen which you see when it's working you can start and stop here or at least pause here and here you have this information which you can invoke so you have a little bit of information how much backup this left how much he did and how much he left so here I can restart it and he needs a little bit of time but after some time he will start again and this is just the free version which is for I think 30 days or something like that so it's pretty straightforward it shows you here the, this uh, line where you see how far it is but sometimes it seems to be a little bit uh, stuck somehow and then you have to close and reopen again and somehow these somehow so, uh, sometimes these numbers are a little bit like yeah inconsistent with the total amount of files which you see here here you have the files which you uh, have selected for backup you can change this you have all these files here and you mark the files which you want to have uh, back up so you can also add external hard drive hard drives which is very good and you have the different locations you can back up to the cloud which is usually intended you but you can also back up to a friend to another computer of you or just to another folder means it will be usually an external hard drive but the files are always the same you cannot say I want to have another uh, set of files back up to another friend or to another computer or something like that you have always the same set of files uh, but you can back up to different locations so here you have the files which are selected for back up and here you have the current amount of files and megabytes um, which are uh, already backed up or which are re remaining here so um, usually they are quite consistent but sometimes I have the impression they are not moving down or they are not yeah or, or even move, move up or yeah something like that but the good thing you have actually um, this indication how long it will take so this is two days remaining at a speed of 21.5 megabytes but actually this is not possible because I have just 10 uh, me megabits uh, 10 megabits of upload so it can't be 20 megabits of upload so this is a little bit strange and also I actually I have limited it to 5 megabit usually it works but it's not always doing this but I can show you this uh, network statistics which shows a little bit a different uh, state here you have the network activity it takes some time during the while the backup is running so come on show me something no it doesn't work yeah it needs a little bit of time okay you see here we have the crash plan service and it's 
about uh, yeah it's about three megabits now strange it says a lot more maybe the system is using a lot of the bandwidth but usually it matches to the amount which I have set as a limit I will show it to you later where you can show uh, where you can set the limit usually this really matches and works great much better than the carbonite and the back place so but at least you see it's working and this I had not with the back place and the carbonite a lot of time they were not doing anything so this is much better it's really working at least something whatever it does so here uh, you have another um, panel where you can see what you can restore I have my local drive my, I have my external uh, drive the thing here is a little bit strange <clears throat> it says last backed up <clears throat> which is not true it says it's backed up most of the things already um, yesterday or the day before but this is not true that's a little bit strange so I have to see what how it will work on the long term but at least it's very easy to restore you can just locally click on it and then say where you want to have it restored and also it can show hidden files and uh, you can also say that it should show deleted files which is really great and here you have all the settings the channel settings where you can limit the CPU use, usage when you're present or when you're away or when it's on battery and language things and you can configure email uh, notifications which are also very good then you have uh, different things you can say that it should all only run between specific uh, specified times that's really great and you can say um, what kind of files should be when and how frequently be up the, um, backed up so that's fantastic really really great options here we have the uh, file exclusions like in the other um, softwares and some advanced settings um, I haven't looked much into that but there are really a lot of um, options which you have which you don't have with Backblaze and carbonite here i have my back my account which i don't show here you ha we have some security things and here the very nice network setting where you can configure your um, lan and the van where you can uh, limit the network usage for like uploading how much upload you want to dedicate to this backup so you are not um, yeah, compromising the whole internet when other people are around and they, uh, when they want to use the internet too. So I have limited to about 5 um, megabits and usually it really works. We can take another look at this. Yes you see sometimes it's going up a little bit more but it's the, also the system so only the crash plan is using about two and a half megabit but this is not a really uh, reliable view now because the system is making some updates like usually we know microsoft they are constantly updating without asking so it's limiting my bandwidth for the crash plan but usually <clears throat> I have it now for two days and usually it was really working reliable also we have the history here that's another great thing because the history like in the 
carbonate you have to go you have to dig really deep into your system to find out where your uh, history is and that it takes a lot of time because it can the log file can get really big and so here you have some basic things where it says how much uh, files it has scanned how much it has already backed up how much is left how much speed it used and such things these are really great i mean these uh, you can't see all the details but it helps you to keep track of your backup and here you have the um, communication thing where, where you can back up to friends or friends can back up to you using this code but I haven't used it and you can manage your overall destinations actually the same as before you can have your friends computer other computers like external drives and the cloud which is actually intended for the backup so yeah in general it um yeah it's quite impressive it has actually the features or most of the features which you really want it's much much better than the other um the the, the carbonite and the back place regarding information of course it should be uh, it could ha uh, they, they could have done this a little bit nicer so yeah to have not only this uh, as a straight line but uh, a little bit of graphics to see how it develops regarding files and gigabytes and <clears throat> some other things uh, to make it a little bit easier to to see how it develops and I mean these numbers and these numbers they they uh, belong together they, they should be much much closer so it could be easier to see how it develops but I mean it looks really really great and I have been backing up for a couple of days it has not restarted from scratch like Carbonate and Backblaze did a lot with my data and ended uh, with some error message and uh, stopped uh, in general also it had not so much problem with my uh, file lengths, uh, pass lengths I have a lot of files and pass which are longer than uh, 256 characters and of course b uh, the, the ca crash plane they uh, plan they they say on the website that they are not backing up files within a pass that has lengths the, of more than 256 bytes so probably they have all the same problem i haven't read that about the back place but uh, probably they have all the same issue and not backing up longer pass so but at least it doesn't bother this uh, crash plan so it keeps working also when it has some other uh, some issues what i have not found are error messages but i think they should probably they are somewhere in the system to find i mean we have the history as i have already told you but it doesn't show really uh, like file in use files in use or something like that or pass too long it doesn't um, really list them so I'm still have to I still have to find them but apart from that really great so uh, regarding price and functionality functionality st uh, stability and all the things I would rate this much much higher than the carbonate and the back place but I will keep going and probably I will update at least the text of the YouTube video so we'll know you will know that if I have been successful at the end so yeah that's it for now thanks for watching and see you next time